Among all the foreign faces on TV, three Americans appeared to have special status. They kept popping up four or five times a day. We'd see them on commercials, game shows, talk shows. We'd never heard of them, but they were really famous in Japan. What had they done to deserve all this attention? They seem to be treated as informal spokesmen for American culture. But on another program, they'd be something else entirely. Commander Alexander, here are the men who injured your leg. Well, it's funny, you know, the, the few of us that are here, if you ask uh, Japanese on the street, if you ask Japanese on the street to name ten Americans, then I'll always be one of them, or even five Americans, I'm one of them, which is a mind-boggling thing to think about. You know, I mean, they're forgetting about Lincoln and Jefferson and Washington, even, you know, many, much, much more famous people. Well, I first came to Japan as a Japanese uh, missionary for the Mormon Church, which is a two-year assignment. And uh, after that, I went back to college and I studied Japanese and because I thought it was interesting and ended up majoring in that. And, and Kent Gilbert in was from Utah and, then I worked and had a certain all-American quality Japanese people found appealing. Kent Derricott was another ex-Mormon missionary, making a career for himself as a gaijin torento, or foreign talent. And then there was Dave Spector, who had landed in Japan as a segment producer for Ripley's Believe It or Not. The thing that Japanese uh, have in their minds about Americans is that they're blonde and blue-eyed, and they're wearing, like, sweatshirts and stuff like that. But, of course, I'm not like that at all. Uh, I'm from Chicago, originally. And um, I decided to look more American. I would uh, change my hair a little bit, you know. And uh, it looks very strange, you know. I feel very weird when I go back to Los Angeles. People think I'm, like, in a heavy metal group or something like that. And I also have, you know, like the, uh, the blue contacts. And all of a sudden, wow, look how American he looks. We can use him much better now, you know. やっぱりなんか特に日本人だからあんまりなんだろうアメリカいわゆるほらテレビとかでやってファミリータイズとかでやってるような定型的なアメリカ生活っていうかねファミリー生活みたいな経験したことないんだけどやっぱりみんな
最近はやはりちょっとそういう意味で落ちてきたという気がしますねアメリカは大きな国でですねあのいい国だと思いますよだけどあのニューヨークあたり犯罪が多いでしょうだから日本人のツーリストが行くときはちょっと怖いなと感じます憧れてるけど怖い国行ってみたいけど怖い Although more and more Japanese are overcoming their fears and traveling outside safe Japan, many will still remain armchair travelers and learn about America from what they see in the media. We wanted to see how these images of America were created.